y'all, it's Allie, and I'm wearing the same thing that I wore last week because I'm doing two videos in one day, again, because I'm feeling motivated. So last week I talked about how to, how to take a good base photo on your phone. And this week I wanted to talk about the apps that I enjoy using for my photos. I am a professional photographer. I do have a business, a senior portraiture business here in San Antonio, and so for me, uh, editing is just a no-brainer. I always edit all of my my pictures. I personally like the film look, the film emulation apps, because it's a timeless look to me. Like, I want to get my photos out of that digital queasy feel into that classic timeless film look. And I do that for my clients' photos, and I do that in my journaling photos too. So, Let's get right to it. The apps that I use um, mainly are VS CoCam. I have been using VS CoCam for years and they have gotten better and better and better. It was like Hipsterville, I guess, <laughs> before. Um, but anyway, the app looks like this. I don't know if I can show you. Maybe I could get a bigger picture, but it's this white with like, um, I don't know, what is that, a pentagon? One, two, three, four, three. no. Hexagon. It's a hexagon and it says VS CoCam and it's for, I believe it's for visual company supply or something like that. I have VS Co presets for my Lightroom um, software as well. But I love VS CoCam because they have so, such a broad range of filters that you can put on your photos. The free one, I think you only get like a little bit of, um, I should probably figure all that out right now, huh? Mm -hmm. The only thing that's a little bit of a bummer with the VS Co is that you do have to pay for your packs, like your, your sets of um, presets, your, your filters. Honestly, it's worth it to me because to me, I love their look so much. So let's say I have the owl picture. I'm gonna upload our little owl picture. Okay, it's pretty user friendly. Um, I have been using it for a while, but I mean, it's pretty, they have tutorials and things to walk you through and such. So I just put my little owl friend in there and this right here gets my little, um, all the, I have bought a lot of them. I'm kind of a, a preset junkie when it comes to phone app, like filters. Um, but anyway, I don't think I can turn it this way, but you can see that I have tons of these little presets on the bottom and you just kind of go through and it shows you what they look like. It's kind of fun. And you just do it to your taste, of course. So like for me, I like that. I like a little bit of the minimalistic. That one's kind of fun. That one's kind of like a, you know, almost like a wash, but I just love the effects that they have on the apps. There's so many of them. I'm gonna use this one. Okay, and then so that, let's say, this is the filter I want to use. They also, if you double tap it, you can actually set how much, I'm sure you can't see this at all at this point. It was cloudy and now the sun's coming out. Mm. Let me readjust my lighting here. If the sun goes back, I'm gonna be like pitch fit here. Or maybe, I don't know. <laughs> you can move the slider depending on how much you want that filter to be applied on your photo. I kind of like it full force personally, so I'm gonna keep there. But if you click on that little arrow, there's also here where you can adjust brightness, contrast, rotate, crop, sharpening, saturation, bring your highlights down, bring up in your, you know, bring detail up in your shadows, uh, change the warmth and your tint. And like there's a one called like um, skin tone. So you can change the skin tone. Uh, there's grain to add grain to your photos, fading to your photos. There's a part here, like if you look at here, it says a shadows tint. So you can make your shadows more red or purple or blue. I love using that. I use that all the time. And you can make your highlights have a tint. So like I usually use the cream for my highlights and I never use it full force. I do, um, I do bring it down some, but yeah. So I'm just gonna quickly edit. Um, anyway, let me go here, 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 here. So that is my after, after um, thing. And you can actually put your finger on it and it shows you the before, after, before, after. It's definitely looks, it's not too edited. You know what I'm saying? Like it just looks like a really nice, you know, picture. And then I save it to camera roll. I always do actual size because I do print these out on a printer. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. VS CoCam. The other one that I use 
sometimes too if I can't get my brightness quite the way I want it. Snapseed is a great one. I do a lot of the um, my retro looking ones like with the light leaks and stuff on Snapseed. Um, that one I believe you also have to pay for. But VS Co and Snapseed are my go-to apps. Pick Frame is my go-to app for making the collage for my printer. And, and then I do sometimes, I will admit, there's an app called Facetune. I'm, I'm, I'm slightly ashamed, not really, because I, I'm, a, I'm a photographer. I edit people's stuff all the time and, and I edit myself. That's why it's been so good for me to do video because I can't take off zits off my face. I have to have zits on my face. There's no way for me to make no zits on my face on a video. So I have my unicorn horns everywhere. But on the phone, you can actually get this app called Facetune. And if you'd like to doll up a little bit, now I don't go crazy and make myself look fake or anything, but take off a huge unicorn horn. So you can take off those, those zits. And then um, there's a way to kind of like liquefy things too. I don't use that too much actually, but um, it's fine there. So, but I will tell you this, the presets that I use for my photography business, I use strictly Mastin Labs at, um, presets for Lightroom, and they are actually developing an app for the phone. And I just love, 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 love those presets. And when they come out, I'm hoping that they'll ask me to be a beta tester. I'm really, really, really hoping. If you're out there, Mr. Mastin, Please, I want to be a beta tester really bad for your app. I have been a beta tester for a video app before, but um, not for any kind of photography editing app. But that'd be awesome. And I bought them. I love them. As soon as that app comes out, I'm buying it. I am buying that app because the they're like truly film looks. Like even with my VS Code presets on my Lightroom, it's still just a little over the top for me. It's all I have to work with right now on my phone. Mastin is just very minimalistic, just gives you that timeless film look. Um, and as soon as it comes out, I will let you know and I'll give you my review on the app because I can't wait. I cannot wait. I've heard rumors and you know rumblings about it, but that's the one I want. But until then, I am using VS Co Cam as my main app for photo editing. Oh, the another thing that's kind of cool with the VS Co, just real quick, is that if you if you have a series of photos that's the same kind of light, then you can copy paste. Like I can say copy right here, see this little little plus sign? I can copy what I did to that photo and then click on another photo and just paste it and it makes it so much easier so you don't have to do the whole process over again. I do a little bit of tinkering on them, but anyway, it's just a really nice feature. If you want to know some of the filters that I have, again, I am a filter hog. I have a bajillion of them. The presets that I have, and they're by numbers and letters. The one through the one through 10, that'd be a good starter. And um, the A's, those are the ones I've been mainly using here recently. So that'd be a good pack for you to start with is just that one through 10. That is what I use um, for editing my iPhone photos. I hope that was helpful for this week and have fun. That VS Co app is a lot of fun. There's a fuzzy. I'm not like sponsored by them or anything. I just really enjoy the app. I bought it a long time ago. I keep buying their presets and it's just been a lot of fun. Thanks so much for watching and subscribing and all the amazingness you guys have brought to this little channel. I've had so much fun and we'll figure out, I'll figure out what to what to talk about next week because those were some big, big points there these last two weeks. Until then, I will see you later. Bye.